Hey guys, welcome to MuseThemes.com. My name is Steve Harris. I'm really pumped today to show you a new widget uh, that we just came out with called the Square Navigation Menu Widget. So I think this is honestly one of the most beautiful navigation widgets that I've ever seen made for Muse. And um, in the widget world, for Muse, navigation is a little bit light. There's not, there's not a lot of things out there that look like this and work like this. And to be honest, have the level of customization that this widget has. It's really crazy. So let's take a look at it and then I'll show you how to build it. It's pretty it's pretty uh, fully featured, I guess you could say. There's lots of options to control on it, so I won't go through every single thing in this video, but uh, we'll take a look at the most important aspects of it. So I have a preview here set up. Um, let me preview this site in the browser and I'll show you how it works. So I have just a very simple page with a full width image and then I have this menu button in the top right. And if I mouse over, it has a nice state. So if I click on that, we get this really tasteful animation that comes up from the bottom. And then we have two link lists, one on each side. And so these will be the actual links that you'll put in your menu. So they could be to pages on your site or pages on another site, an external site if you want. And I've even included the ability for you to use a custom logo on the menu and you can use that on either side. So this is fully customizable in the sense that every color, every text block, the images, the placement can all be changed on the options panel. So let me show you how it's built. The first thing I'll do when I go back to Muse here is let me just delete basically everything out of here except for the logo. So I can show you kind of on a fresh page. So we have a brand new page here in Muse. Let's go to our library. And in our toolbox file, we're going to go to number 33, which is the square navigation menu, and drag that out. So when you drag this out, um, it looks a little bit different from our normal widgets in the sense that we had to basically split it out into three components because there was just too many options for one panel. So basically the way that uh, this breaks down is you have this top controller. And you can see up here in the left when you click on one of them, it says Muse Themes square navigation menu and if we bring out the flyout panel on that we have things like the navigation menu setup the button configuration that sort of thing the other two blocks below it are actually the link input and kind of style controls for the left and right boxes that you saw in the preview so this is where you're going to enter in each of your links so this is the left side and this is the right side these are basically identical these two boxes Below that, we've included a simple button for you to try out. Um, you don't need to use this by any means. You can use your own or create your own, but we thought it'd be nice to give you something to start with. And even just from dragging and dropping this out from the library, if I preview this, click on the button, it works nicely. So you have a good starting point um, to start to work with. So let me show you how this works. The first thing I'll do, I'll move this out of the way, is let's run through the options on the main kind of controller here. So if we start at the top, we have things like the page background overlay color. So when the menu comes up, the page background fades back to be a solid color. So you can control that from this menu. You can also add the logo placement. So I had a little Muse Themes logo in that menu. So you can choose to put it on the left or the right side. And then you just need to enter in your file name below. So the way that we do this is with most of our other widgets, you click file and add files for upload like that. You can pick a little icon. So I just use this icon black.png. And when you've added that for upload, then you just enter the name of the icon in this box. So it'd be icon underscore black.png. Perfect. So then we have a few animation controls. We have things like uh, which direction you'd like the flyout to come from. So right now it came out of the bottom of my screen, but we could set it to come out of the top. You can even set uh, how the menu kind of expands. So that's the animation style here. Right now it's expanding vertically, but we could have it so that it expanded horizontally. The other controls we have here are link alignment and link padding. So you may have noticed when I previewed it, and let me bring it up here again. The links in this case are all centered. So we have one, we have them centered on both sides. So we could set that to align left on the widget here. So if we just went back into our controller and we set left, let me preview it and show you how it looks. There. So now that we bring the widget up, the labels are aligned left. And obviously they're really tight to the left side there, but that's why we've added in this padding control. So you can up that and space them out nicely. So that's kind of it for the initial setup here. The next thing we're going to look at is actually building the button and building the close button. 
So this looks like a big area, but the funny thing is you don't need most of these controls. We kind of included two ways for you to build a button with this widget. You can set here on menu button type to do a custom button using a graphic style, or you can use a generated button. So the generated button, when I click on this, you can see that all the menu options below suddenly appear and this allows you to just kind of style a button using these controls. So you could set a background color to the button like this. You could set a hover color. You, you kind of have to style it within the panel. The other thing that you can do is use a custom button using a graphic style. Let me click on that and show you how this works. So that's what we've done with this. We created a little button using the states widget. And I just did a video on the states widget before that you can check out. But uh, basically the way it works is if we go to our library, excuse me, our widget library, drag out the state button. So we've got a very simple button here. You can style it up however you need. And we go to the graphic styles panel. Let's create a new style based on that button. And let's give that style a name. We'll call it test. So once we've done that, then you go into the widget control panel and with custom graphic style selected, you enter the name that you used on that graphic style. So now we'll call that test there. So then when we preview this, this button actually launches the menu. So you can use any button or anything you want, just apply that style and match up the name. So that's pretty cool. This area, um, you're probably not gonna use very often, so let's move down to the close button configuration. This is exactly what you think it would be. You have the ability to use a text button for the close, which right now it's just set as an X, or you can use a little icon. So if I go to image button, let me actually use the image that we were gonna use for the logo. So let's go icon underscore black.png, okay. And let's just up the size of that a little bit to 50. I think 50 is about our max there. Okay, and now let me preview this in the browser, show you how it looks. So we click on that. You can see that the little Muse Themes logo was up here as the close button. So you maybe wanna use a button that actually tells users to actually close the window, but this was just a cool example and you can see how nicely it works. Okay, let's uh, have a look at the rest of them here. So you've got obviously some sizing controls, but you can change the text color and the size if you're using an actual text button there. So that's kind of it for the controller of this widget. Now the last thing you'd need to do is go ahead and actually input your links. So you do that using these other two widgets. So this is the left and the right controllers. So the left menu set up in style, this is where you'd actually change that block um, that you're seeing on when the menu appears. So let me change this to black and I'll show you what I mean. So we've set the block color to black. And now when I preview the widget again, you can see that this whole left side is black. So you can change these independently. It doesn't matter. Um, I found that they looked best if you had them slightly different, but not drastically different like they are right now. And below that, you have the ability to change the font that you're using in the left and right blocks and even things like the margin below the font. So you can kind of keep it nice and centered. And then, of course, you can select how many menu items you actually want in the menu here. So we could set this to only two. And you can see that all of the options below just disable automatically. And this is where you'd go in and put something like your portfolio and the label for number two. Let's call contact us. And then all you need to do is you need to specify where your link is going. So this is these are actually two great examples here. We have on URL2, it's starting off like you're going to an external page. So you could go something like this, and your link's going to go to that website. Now this one above is basically using a relative link. So what it's saying is that it wants you to go to the portfolio page within the existing site. And so I've actually set up a page here called portfolio. It's a whole separate page on the site. And if we go into this widget and as long as we have that set up properly, let me make sure. Yep. So we have portfolio in there. Let's preview that in the browser and keep in mind, you need to preview your full site because we're going to be clicking off this page. So we'll click the button and now we have portfolio and contact us in this menu. So let's click portfolio and we go to the portfolio page. And then of course, if we click contact us, we're going to Muse Themes. 
So let's go back in here. And I think that the boat covers it for all of the options we have for the menu. Um, I can't think of anything else you'd need to style or control in this menu, but let's get it out there and see what users are doing with it. And we can add in extra controls as needed. So one of the most important things I just want to reiterate again here is it's probably best to use the custom graphic style to create your button and you can create really nice looking menu buttons. I mean, I just uh, created a quick one here, but I'll delete those out for a sec and let me put in a little bit of a nicer kind of mobile looking button. So I'm just going to draw these three bars, duplicate these. Okay, so we've got them like that. Let's set the fill color to black and I'm just going to drag those up onto the state button there. Okay, so once they're in there, we can set a rollover state for them. And you know, what? I'm going to leave them like that because if you click on this button and go rollover, it looks like a button good enough for the demo we have here. And we'll put that up in the top right. Let's just make sure we have a graphic style for that applied. Right now it's set to test, but we could create a different one and call this uh, widget. Okay. And now when we go into our controller here for the navigation menu, just remember to enter that in. Okay, and we'll preview it in the browser and see if it works. There you go. So it's beautiful. I love this menu. I think it's uh, one of the best ones out there for Muse today. So let me know if you have any questions and enjoy. Cheers.